How's it going everybody? Max here coming to you from Hollywood, Florida. I'm standing here with Dr. David Perlmutter. He's a board certified neurologist. He's a fellow of the American College of Nutrition. You've wrote many international bestsellers including Grain Brain, Brain Maker. Um, and you do a lot of sort of teaching and lecturing and you're also like a philosopher, I think. That's oh, why, which is why I love your work. Um, so what are you here to talk about today? Well, so we are at the Integrative Healthcare Symposium uh, in Hollywood, Florida, Hooray right for Hollywood. And this is a, what we call focus on the microbiome. So we're looking at the microbiome, the gut bacteria, the organisms that live within us in terms of how they play a role in health and when they're disturbed, how that paves the way for disease. So it all comes back to nutrition at the end of the day. But you're a neurologist. A neurologist is somebody who studies and looks at the brain. Why are you so focused on the gut? It's a great question. Uh, and it has to do with the fact that the gut and the brain are intimately related. Matter of fact, that's our next lecture from UCLA, Dr. Emron. Uh, Mayor is, is actually up there at the podium right now, exploring how the gut and the brain are, are related and this intimate control that the gut has over the moment-to-moment -moment function of the brain as well as the brain's long-term risk for disease. I love that. Now you and your books are many people's initial touch points to the idea that our choices in our lives matter in terms of our brain health and our brain function. Would you say that that's true? Oh, yeah. I mean, these choices and the leverage point is through the gut bacteria. When we look at our diet, our exercise, our use of medications, our use, our consumption of uh, food that's been treated with herbicides because it's genetically modified, we see that we threaten the microbiome or we nurture the microbiome, the gut bacteria. And as such, that plays a huge role in our risk for disease. And well beyond neurologic issues, I mean, the gut influences the heart, the immune system, the skin, the joints, every part of the body. So it's, it's a wide net that's thrown. Your views as a neuro, like what makes your work so exciting is that you have such a breadth of, and depth of knowledge about nutrition, um, and you bring to it so many years of clinical practice as a practicing neurologist. Have your views evolved uh, up to the point at which you wrote Grain Brain, oh, and, and how have they evolved since? Well, you know, with Grain Brain, it was all about sugars and carbs and gluten and, uh, and wheat, barley, and rye. And since then, we've recognized that these exact factors play a role in changing the gut bacteria in terms of how the gut bacteria is relevant to brain health. And that's what Brain Maker is all about. And would you say the two diets are aligned? Because I, 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 I always wonder about how, I mean, the, the value in getting lots of fiber in your diet can't be overstated. No, it can't be. So how do you reconcile with the fact that we want it to ultimately have minimal blood sugar impact on the host. Well, the more fiber you have, the better your blood sugar control will be. So these are dietary fibers, fiber-rich foods that are not high glycemic index that help to nurture the good gut bacteria that play a critical role in regulating what you're talking about, the blood sugar, which feeds back to the brain. Higher blood sugar relates to risk for dementia. Any, what are your three top tips for a healthy gut microbiome? Uh, number one, cut back on your sugars. Number two, don't eat artificial sweeteners. Uh, number three, consume foods that are high in uh, fiber, prebiotic fiber. Uh, number four, fermented foods. I know we asked for three. Fermented foods are really key. And number five, it's not even a food, but exercise, aerobic exercise. Amazing. The one and only Dr. David Paul. All right, Potter. nice to see Thank you, you so much. Same.